just as a heads up, this isn't scripted at all. I don't have a script to read off of. This is mostly just going to be my off-the-cuff thoughts on this whole situation with Rooster Teeth and the uncertainty of death battle as a whole now. So I'll try to cut out some stuttering parts the best I can. Just letting you know that this isn't really going to be a full-fledged edited video. This is just something off the riff that I wanted to get off my chest. So in case you don't know, it was just recently announced that Rooster Teeth will be shutting down thanks to the hands of Wonder Brothers basically killing them off. Because of this announcement, it has left everyone in a state of flux. Most notably, what does this mean for Death Battle? Because this year is supposed to be Death Battle's Season 11 of the show. And now that Rooster Teeth is not a business anymore, now it's starting to feel like, well, where's the future going for Death Battle as a whole? Because, surprisingly, a lot of you, or at least in the internet space, didn't know that Rooster Teeth owned Death Battle. Because originally, Death Battle was not their own thing. It was Screw Attack, which then merged into Rooster Teeth and all that. Rooster Teeth owns Death Battle. And they are usually the ones that are funding the episodes. So all the episodes that you see, that all gets funded by them. And now, because Rooster Teeth is no longer a thing anymore, there goes that funding. It comes into question of what is next, or what it, what's the future now for this web series. Now, Ben Singer did make a post on Twitter figuring out the way forward, but the channel isn't going anywhere. And he wants to still make content for the channel, even if it's not specifically Death Battle. So that's their take on it. They're still trying to figure out what is, what's to come. Because just recently now, because of this whole closure of Rooster Teeth, all the animators and employees, they got laid off. Including the animators of the show of Death Battle. The people who do the sprite animations and the 3D animations and the editing and all that shit. They're not with a job anymore. And it's just a, 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 real, a real sad thing, you know. It's, it's very unfortunate. Because Warner Brothers did say that there is talks to sell Ruby, Red vs. Blue, and Genlock following the Rooster Teeth shutdown. However, none of that in this cell has any mention of Death Battle. So that tells me either Wonder Bros. does not know about Death Battle or just simply does not care for it and just would rather sell off the more popular-ish IPs of Rooster Teeth and not the web series. Now, what what do I think? What do I think is for the future of Death Battle? I honestly don't know because of the fact that it's hard to say. Like, my what I believe is the only way I can see Death Battle being salvaged is if by somehow they can find another company to take ownership of Death Battle and therefore continuing the funding of the show. That's the only way I can see them still going for many years because I highly doubt that Death Battle makes enough money to keep funding these highly expensive episodes from here on out. 
like I can't see them going beyond t- season 12, season 13, season 14, etc. If they haven't made a big enough money to s- sustain that. With all the ads that they run on their episodes, all the sponsorships that they get from the from advertisers and the merchandise that they sell, I don't think that's enough money to keep them established and fund these episodes on their own. Because again, these are not cheaply made. There's a lot of money that get that is involved in this. You gotta pay the editors, you gotta pay the animators, you gotta pay the custom sprite makers, the 3D animators, and all that stuff. It's a lot of money that goes into these episodes, and I know that it ain't cheap. So that's why they had a company, a company that would fund these episodes. And I just don't think that they have the money to sustain that on their own. And the other problem is, is I don't know what company would want to bank on that. I can't see a company willing to put all their money into this web series on YouTube that they either have no real familiarity with or just has no strong interest in. Because some companies will not bank on an idea that sounds cool. Some companies just won't take that risk. Because if it doesn't succeed, then they're throwing money away by that point. I think that that the future is uncertain. I don't know what comes next. I would love... If they did find another company to fund their episodes so they can keep doing these seasons for as much as they want until they want to end it. But I just can't see what company would do it. As much as I would love to, I would not be surprised if Ben Singer comes out on Twitter or makes a video about it saying that season 11 or if there ever be a season 11 if they continue it will be the series finale of the show because again I don't see this being a established thing that they have enough money for to keep going for so many years And I know it sucks because I know damn well they did not really expect this series, this season to probably be like their series finale because they probably had no intentions of ending it on season 11. And, And you really can't blame anybody. You know, Warner Bros. have been on a murder spree with projects lately. (laughs) And it's ironic that Wiley Coyote versus Tom was going to be on the season, and then the, the whole Wiley Coyote versus Acme situation with Runner Brothers of the finished movie, and they canceled it. So now anything Wiley Coyote, I guess, is getting fucking obliterated. I don't know. But yeah, I just wanted to get this off of my chest because it's a very worrying situation. I am confident that the animators and all the employees who got laid off, I'm sure they'll find work elsewhere. There's plenty of other places that do, like, sprite fights and all that sort of stuff. So, they, I've, I feel like they will bounce back from this. It may take a while, but I'm hoping for the best that they will find a new place to show off their talents but yeah i just wanted to express this it's a very unfortunate situation and a very uncertain situation for what the future leads again i would love and i am hoping they can find a new company to fund the death battle episodes but I would not be surprised if they announce that 
death battle is over. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. I would love to hear what you all think. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.